Hey friends, it's Lisa. Welcome and thank you for watching another one of my videos. So today I'm pretty excited because I have my February 2019 body care empties. I have my green bin here and um, I am kind of impressed with myself that in 28 days I got through quite a lot of stuff. Or maybe it just seems like a lot. It might be bigger items. So without further ado, here are some of the things that I went through in this month. The first thing I have is from Not Your Mother's, and this is the Blue Sea Kale and Pure Coconut Water Shampoo. Um, and it was supposed to help, I don't know, do whatever. Actually, I have no idea. I bought it at Ulta, and I also bought with this the conditioner, which I probably finished in January. Um, it didn't do anything, it wasn't miraculous, it wasn't anything that stood out, so I don't necessarily see any reason for me to buy this again, but, I mean, it was okay, but honestly, save your money and buy something probably more affordable, um, or something that actually does something. I also tried this month and finished from Pantene, the Rose Water Sulfate Free Conditioner, restoring moisture milk. This I actually bought when the blue kale and sea salt conditioner ran out. This was okay. This is another product where it didn't do anything miraculous and so I don't necessarily have a need to buy this specific thing again. But it, you know, it did what it was supposed to do and it smelled pretty good if you're into rose scent. I feel like I am on, like just a Debbie Downer. I'm not giving you anything that I really like. But here is something that I thoroughly enjoy and I actually have repurchased it. And it is a shampoo, but it's actually for makeup brushes. This is the Eco Tools Makeup Brush Shampoo. I use this all the time to wash my makeup sponges. And out of all the different types of um, brush cleaners that I've tried over the last couple years, this Eco Tools formula I enjoy the most and I feel like it cleans my brushes, it gets a lot of the foundation and other makeup out. It's easy to use on a semi-regular basis. I try at least once a week to clean all of my brushes. My eye brushes I wash more frequently. Uh, I don't feel like it leaves a crappy residue or a gummy residue or anything like that that I've experienced with some of the other products. So like I said, I actually have already repurchased this and this I bought at Ulta. This next product that I have, I originally didn't think was kind of like worth the hype. I was going to try it and I tried it and now I'm like, you know what, I actually really liked this product. And it's from Pons and it's the Palms Cold Clean, ugh, Pons cold cream cleansing balm and it comes in a container like this and it is 3.38 ounces or 100 milliliters and the thing I just want to point out about this so it looks like you're getting like this gigantic package right but when you open it it's it's the circumference is of the rim like this extra part that's just plastic packaging I was like am I getting like I'm like where's the rest of it but I feel like the packaging is a little deceiving, but this, so I have like some cons and some pros for this. The pros, <laughs> the pros is that I thought this was phenomenal. A little bit goes such a long way and it does a great job of um, melting away any makeup that you have and leaving your face feeling refreshed um, so it's not greasy or anything like that. But, I think the packaging is deceiving, and also, if this is $2 more expensive at Target where I bought this. This was $9.99. Cold cream, which you get a bigger container of, and sort of does the same thing, is $7.99. But, at first I was like, oh, I miss my cold cream. But after using this, I'm like, oh, this is so nice. And now I have cold cream. And I am not happy. So, and my skin's not happy either. It's kind of like acting up. And I think this is part of it. Like, I had a regiment down. And I feel like I've disrupted that regimen. So, next time I will go back to this. And cleansing bombs, I think, are supposed to be, like, part of, like, the K-beauty or the J-beauty. 
like movement that um, like they have bombs like this in Korea and Jap uh, Japan. So I don't know if you're a Target, um, you might want to try this out. From Bath and Body Works, or as I affectionately call them, BB Dubs, I have a 10 fluid ounce container of spice gingerbread swirl sugar or uh, shower gel. Um, legitimately, like this thing is dry, it's empty. I got every drop of this because I enjoyed this scent so much. I didn't think I would. I like went for years without dealing with their body, their shower gels, and now I have a crap ton. And uh, this is supposed to smell like warm ginger snap, fresh nutmeg, orange zest, brown spice, spice brown sugar, and roasted tonka. This was just like fabulousness in the shower. Just like warm, toasty fabulousness. And I enjoyed it. And if they have the scent come out next Christmas, I will totally buy it. I have a hand soap here from Wegmans, and this is the Valencia Orange and Hibiscus. This is the 7.5 fluid ounce. It was okay. It did what it was supposed to do, and it smelled pretty good. From OGX, I have a 5 fluid ounce thermal primer cream, which I liked using when my hair was damp before I used it, uh, a blow dryer on it, or any heating product machine, mechanism, whatever. Um, I thought it did a really great job. Um, I actually repurchased this recently, although I haven't started using it. So I definitely would recommend it because it's repurchase worthy. I have another BB Dubs product and this is a hand soap in French Lavender and this is from their Creamy Luxe collection. Um, now if you've watched some of my other videos with their hand soaps, I have ranted that I hate liquid hand soaps and they gross me out. But I do have to say with this Creamy Luxe collection, I am coming around and so I have a whole bunch of these versus the foaming. Um, I always enjoy a French lavender scent. It's one of my favorites. So I thought this was phenomenal. I have nothing to complain about. Another BB Dubs product I have. This is a body butter. Oops. And it is in the... Uh, it was from back in the day. I think this was... Um, this was Christmas of 2017 when they came out with that Argon. Every, like it was Argon and, you know... Balsam, not balsam, but like Baltic amber, like amber, I have no idea, but they had, there's like powder, sorry, there's like powder on some of this stuff, and so I'm like afraid that I'm hitting myself in the face with some powder. I have no idea where the powder's from, I'm scared to even think about it. Um, but this was okay, this is not my preferred body butter, if you've watched my videos for any length of time, you know how I feel about Tree Hut. Tree Hut is like, is is a true love of mine and so nothing will beat Tree Hut but this was okay for what it was. A Not Your Mother's product that I did enjoy was this In A Heartbeat Blow Dry Accelerator Spray and you get six fluid ounces and basically I would spray this on my damp hair like the much like the primer cream that I would use before I blow dry I would blow uh, I would spray this on my hair and it actually in theory helped um, speed up the time to dry it. I am a AM shower person. I shower every day before I go to work and for whatever stupid reason I wash my hair before I go to work every morning and then I'm like must dry my hair. I have to go to work. And so um, to me this is totally worth it because in my head whether it's the like placebo effect or not I feel like this makes me feel like it is cutting down my precious morning time. So I will repurchase this. From Erin Condren, I have a 15 count of the well-kept sc uh, screen cleansing towelettes. Um, these are the type of towelettes that you can use on your eyeglasses, on your tablet, your phone, your whatever. I use these all the time either on my glasses or on my phone because Phones are disgusting, and I always want to make sure that I do not have a disgusting phone. I know this is kind of mangled, but this is a Colgate Total Toothpaste. Uh, I got lazy, and I did not go to Target, and I did not buy my Sensodyne Old Person Toothpaste. So I had this, and I used this, but I've since um, repurchased some Sensodyne. 
from BB Dubs. I didn't realize I had so many BB Dubs products in here. I have this um, eight fluid ounce body cream of Beach Nights Summer Marshmallow. I reached, uh, I recently purchased this during the semi-annual sale in December when they had all that stuff come back. I never had it when it originally came out um, last year. I think this smells so phenomenal. I think this smells so delicious. It's kind of like that over the top sweet marshmallowy vanilla sugar, which I am here and I'm living for it. I know some people that's not their scent. I love those over the top <laughs> sweet scents. So I thought this was great. I actually have another tube of this and I'm almost finished. By the way, um, when I'm not hitting myself with products, did you notice my Boston Terrier sweater? This is a mod cloth sweater that I got a few years ago, but I do love it. It's my Milo sweater. I'd like to think that my dog posed while they were knitting, crocheting, however they put this sweater together. I do love it. And yes, I did wear this to work today because I wear crazy things. <laughs> Um, from First Aid Beauty, I finished the Pure Skin Face Cleanser. This was the two point, just the two fluid ounce container that came in my holiday box that I bought from them. I really, really enjoy this face cleanser. It is a little bit pricey. I mean, I'm not going to lie. It's a luxury item, but I do think it does an amazing job of cleaning um, my skin, it's safe for sensitive skin. It does not have a scent. Um, I have crazy sensitive skin and I appreciate stuff like this. So, um, I don't know what to say. Like if you want to splurge a little bit, you can get this one. There's also, I think a five ounce and then there's like the big mama, which is a 10 ounce, but I love first aid beauty. And when I'm kind of feeling like, I want to do some self-care, I want to take care of myself, I will splurge and I will get these items. So I highly recommend this. I have a sample of, I'm going to say this so wrong, but it's La Roche-Posay, the Purifying Foaming Cleanser. I actually got this at Target one day. Um, I feel bad, like this woman at my local Target had this whole display and she was just trying to give away free samples of skincare. And people were not looking at her. They were like, it was kind of like, you know, it, I don't know. It was like this weird phenomenon. They're like, nope, no, nope, I don't want it. I don't want it. And it's like, she's just trying to get away skincare. So she was like, oh, do you want it? Blah, blah, blah. Like, I forget what her little thing was. And I'm like, okay. And then she was just like, here. And she just gave me a ton of products because I think she just felt like no one was paying attention to her and so she had this whole display and I think she just wanted to get rid of half of her stuff. So she gave me a whole bunch of random things and one of them was this little cleanser. It was okay. It's not something that I want to buy but I definitely appreciated it because it was free. So this month I am decluttering a butter blush from Physicians Formula and this was in the shade Natural Glow. So it um, it might be hard to see in this light, but it actually, it looks pink, but it was actually like a gold shimmer. Um, and it also smells very much like artificial coconut, which I think is a fabulous. Um, but I hate this blush. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Um, I feel like if I hate it that much, I don't need it in my life. So I'm getting rid of it. On the other spectrum of blushes, like I went from a blush that's garbage to a blush that Oh, has a little piece of my heart in it. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in Parte. Now this is a 0.05 ounce deluxe sample and they, they being Sephora, gave this along with a lip gloss out I believe in the summer of 2007, well not in the summer, but like in the year of 2017. My birthday just happens to be in the summer. Um, as one of the birthday choices, I legit hit pan on this, guys. Like, I was scraping this shit out. Um, I didn't mean to say shit. I was scraping this crap out. Um, this is, 
I love this color. I love this color. It's not my favorite blush of all time, but I do love this color. And they don't sell this, apparently. I looked at looked it up. Like, I think there's probably a shade that's very so close. But, like, Parte was really only the birthday shade that they had. And, I mean, oh my god. I'm so sad that it's gone. I use this all the time. So... I felt like I just needed to let it go though. It was that much in the pan that it was a struggle to get it on my brush and I felt like, all right girl, it's time. So another product that, actually the, the other three products I have, these are all products that I love and then I'm finished with. So actually I have four products. All right, so this is a perfume deluxe sample. It is Paco Rabanne in the Olympia scent. Let's see. Am I going to regret this? Uh, I can't even do it. It's okay. I mean, I don't want to run out and buy it, but it smelled okay. A scent that I love that I will potentially think about repurchasing um, is actually this Good Chemistry Body Spray. Uh, this is in the scent sugar berry this is 4.25 ounces i bought this a while ago at target um and my target randomly like the good chemistry display sometimes this product and then other times looks like it you know like a zombie apocalypse happened and people decided that fragrance was ne like a necessity to survive it just like it's desolate and there's just like three containers on the side and like there's like one like slowly dripping and i'm just like what is going on who who ransacked this display but this is so amazing so this has notes of um freesia raspberry and vanilla and it says it's happy plus sweet with irresistible energy. I don't know. Maybe that's... Oh, my God. This is so good. Maybe that's how I like to like, feel like I see myself. It's like, I feel like I'm a happy person. I feel like I'm a sweet person. I don't know if I have irresistible energy. But, you know, I've been told that I've been upbeat before. Um, but this is so over-the-top sweet. Like, if you don't like sweet scents... Stay away from that. But um, I loved this. They also sell good chemistry products. So I bought this in the body spray. But they also have perfumes and body oils and stuff in the different scents. So if you have a Target, I definitely recommend checking out good chemistry. Ooh, I found another perfume sample that I went through. This is the Dolce & Gabbana Love Impertitru. Trees? Something French. I don't know. I took French in college. My professor hated me because after a whole semester I still couldn't count to 10 and I was his biggest failure professionally. He may or may not have told me that. <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean it was okay. A product that I like a lot, I don't know if I'll repurchase it, but it is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I have the shade, or had the shade 16 Light. I mean, this is pretty empty and kind of gross looking, but it's just like a very thick foundation uh, concealer, and so it looks, I think, worse than it really is. But um, yeah, some people swear by this. This is like a holy grail product for some people. So um, I might buy this again in the future. I'm not sure. And the last item I have, I'm looking at my timer, I'm over 20 minutes, but hopefully through the magic of editing and me just cutting crap out, this won't be that big of a waste of your time, of your life. The last thing is something that I'm decluttering, and I'm sad because this is a limited time, limited, or excuse me, a limited edition product. It does not exist anymore. Some people could say that I should just, they would keep it because of it, you know, that it's limited, but this is the Tarte. Graveyard Girl Swamp Queen palette. Um, and first of all, I love this packaging because it feels like it's not wood, but it does feel like wood laminate. It does have like an actual wood texture, and I thought this was so cool. But I mean, there is a nice mirror, and then look at me feeling like all oh, like a YouTuber if I cover this up. 
Um, it was a eyeshadow palette with a bronzer, blush, and highlighter. But if you could see this middle shade right there, which is Hit Pan, that is Sassy Bun. Sassy Bun is like hands down one of my most favorite eyeshadow shades ever in life and creation that man has ever made. It is just, it's just like everything I live for. It's like a golden, a golden brassy copper. I love that shadow so much that the fact that it hit pan, I don't even need to use the rest of this palette. I don't give a crap about the rest of this palette. It's like that one shadow. And now um, I actually use NYX Cosmetics um, Prismatic Gold, which I feel like fills that void. So I feel like I can get rid of this palette at this point. So that's that. So that's it, guys. That was, were, all the items that I finished in April. Oh, my God. No, not in April. Those are all the items that I finished in February of 2019. I'm like, I'm like ready. I'm ready for spring. I'm ready for all of this apparently. So anyway, uh, if you liked this video or found any information helpful, please think about giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing. And until next time, I hope you guys all stay well. Bye.